My name is John Harper. In 1872 I was born in Houston, Scotland, to Christian parents who faithfully taught me the Word of God. At the age of 13, I put my trust in God and committed my life to His service, and soon began to reach my local community with the wonderful message of the Gospel. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Lord, people are lost and have no hope without your word. Please God, help me to reach them, that their souls may be saved for eternity. My dear wife Annie was expecting our first child. We decided we would call her Nana and teach her all about our Saviour. But that responsibility I had to face alone, as shortly after giving birth, my dearly beloved wife died. Heavenly Father, my dear wife is now in your presence. Give me the strength to raise this precious child on my own. I commit her life into your hands. Moody Church invited me to return to Chicago as God had saved many souls in a previous visit. Nana was excited at the news that she could accompany me on my trip. She had never been to America before. I had some business to attend to first, but I believed God wanted us to wait one week, then travel on the brand new ship called Titanic. On April 10th, 1912, RMS Titanic set sail on her maiden voyage across the Atlantic Ocean. She sailed swiftly towards bitterly cold ocean waters and headed unknowingly into the pages of history. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Good girl. Bruce Esme, the owner of the ship, spoke with Captain Smith, urging him to make his final voyage one to remember. People would marvel at not only the size of Titanic, but also her speed if this famous ship arrived in New York a day early. Conversations were heard from first-class passengers. What a truly magnificent ship. God himself could not sink this ship. Captain Smith was given six warnings about icebergs that night before going to bed, but his crew were instructed to ignore them and press on for New York. Passengers on board, enjoying the luxury of the beautiful ship, were completely unaware of the danger they were in. Iceberg! Dead ahead! Turn the ship! Iceberg! Right ahead! Everybody get out of here! We're in trouble! Word reached the captain that the iceberg had ripped the starboard side open and the ship had taken in too much water. The unsinkable Titanic was going to sink. Madam, 
Adam, you're going to have to get up quickly. The ship's sinking. Put on a life jacket and get above deck now, please. Amidst the chaos, I spoke to Nana, knowing I must get her safely to a lifeboat. Nana, my love, many are going to lose their lives tonight in the water. I must stay and point them to our Lord Jesus before it's too late. You must be a brave little girl. God will be with you. One day in the future, I know we'll be together again. I love you so much. I love you too, darling. Goodbye, Nana. With Nana safely on board Lifeboat 11, I began my work preaching to anyone who would listen. Women, children, and unsaved to the lifeboats! Many of the richest men on the ship tried to buy a place on a lifeboat, but no amount of money could buy salvation. Wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in heaven. Ask God to forgive you while you still have the chance. And then people in need began to ask God to forgive their sins and give them a place in heaven. Before I come into your presence, help me win as many souls as possible in their time of need. Are you ready to meet God? If not, give your life to him now. Sir, my name is John Harper. Do you know the Lord Jesus as your saviour? No, no, no I don't. I don't want to listen. I, I don't want to trust in God. I knew this dear man had no hope without Christ. I removed my life jacket, my last hope of survival, and willingly gave it to the stranger who was clinging to the driftwood. Stop, Mr. Harper. I've, I've changed my mind. I must get right with God. Father God, you know I'm a sinner. Thank you for bringing Mr. Harper to me. I want to give my heart to you, please. Forgive me, Lord. I tried to use my time left to share God's word with others. In the dark water, I cried out, Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and you shall be saved. people in the water, only six were rescued, but the final man I had reached was one of them. Word quickly spread that the luxurious Titanic was at the bottom of the ocean. Of the 2,224 Titanic passengers, only 711 survivors boarded the rescue ship, the RMS Carpathia. In New York, Names of passengers were listed. They were divided by only two words, saved or lost. First class, 
second class, third class, that no longer matters. Drifting alone on that awful night with two miles of water under me, I was told of my need to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. I am John Harper's last convert. Nana was raised by my sister Jessie until she married a preacher. She lived a fulfilled life until she was called home in 1986. My sacrifice for a stranger seemed to touch many as an example of Christian love. But my desire in life was to point people to the Lord Jesus, who bravely laid down his life on the cross for us all. God required a preacher on that fateful night to witness to people in their hour of need. I was honoured that in his mercy he chose me.